Throughout my career, I've had a lot of students go through my laboratory. We've had undergraduate students. I've even had high school students. It's exciting to have young people. I had this great idea when I was a young person, and a lot of people discouraged me from that, but it turned out to be a, a very important idea. So um, you have to listen to young people. Sometimes they come up with uh, some brilliant uh, new insight. We're in the age of evidence-based medicine, which means we need to have research data that supports what you're doing with patients. And for students to actually get involved with planning and um, performing a research project and maybe being involved even writing the paper and, and presenting it at a meeting or a poster session, uh, it is, it's a very interesting experience for them. Where my research has been taking me, it's interesting that in my PhD thesis, I looked at excessive thyroid hormones, the, the heart enlargement that's caused by thyroid hormones. So I got started with, with thyroid hormones, and I keep coming back to thyroid hormones because more and more, the research keeps telling us that normal thyroid hormone levels in the heart are critical to maintaining normalcy in the heart to help to maintain normal homeostasis. If you look at the biggest discoveries in the history of heart failure treatment, ACE inhibitors and beta blockers, in those studies they showed essentially about a 15% improvement in ejection fraction, which is a, uh, gives you a parameter of the function of the heart. This was really a, considered the biggest breakthrough in the history of heart failure treatment. What we actually found in, with those classes of drugs, that the heart function actually got better and the patients live longer. What we're seeing in our rats with heart attacks is um, a change that's actually four times as big as that. I mean, we're seeing a 50% improvement in ejection fraction, not a 15%, but a 50% improvement. This is four times. I'm really pretty optimistic that this is gonna be even bigger than uh, beta blockers and ACE inhibitors once we finally fine tune this and translate this into people.